What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for Capsule Sagittarius, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Um, love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. We're at 12,725 subscribers. So thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. If you feel guided to donate, it's High Priestess Row 5. The links in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash out, no Venmo. Only if you feel guided to donate. Okay. So the channel message I received was, um, um, someone is about to see a, um, snake I heard on the ground. It's about to be confirmation for them. Um, for one, for one, someone is about to see a snake, large snake I heard above them, and it's about to fall to the ground, and it's about to be confirmation for them. For one person, it is a confirmation of a dream they've already had, and it's about to wake them up in a huge ass way, give them a huge wake up call. For someone else, it's a different confirmation, and they're about to do something they never thought they would do confirmation in the universe that's what i just heard just now confirmation in the universe so you plug it in how it resonates dear lord so some kind of snake energy but it sounds like it's a, they're about to see these snakes in the 3d universe so it could be you or somebody you're connected to but somebody's about to see these it sounds like it's upcoming in the universe it's two different situations somebody is about to see a um snake on the ground so i'm thinking like a garter snake or a medium-sized snake or a small snake maybe a baby snake slithering on the ground and that's about to be confirmation for them. Whether it's a confirmation from a dreamscape dream they've had or some other kind of confirmation that's about to make them do something they never thought they would do. Because everybody's different. Everybody's on different time life paths. So only these people know their story, not anybody else. And by the way, don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages to resonate. One message may apply. Two may apply. Two plus may apply. None may apply. Okay, so that's situation one. Situation two, I heard someone is about to see a large snake. So, hell, I don't know what is large. Um, I'm thinking bo boa constrictor or anaconda. Well, dear God, anaconda. Oh, where the hell are you going to be if you're going to see anaconda? I'm just saying. Um, something large. I think boa constrictor. I think um, anaconda um, or any other type of large snake. I heard it's going to come from a, uh, a space over them. So it'll be higher than their height over them. And it sounds like it's going to fall. It's going to fall um, or be lowered or something. Um, it sounds like it's outside. Um, and that's going to be a confirmation for them. Either something they've had, uh, a dream they had in their dreamscape or a conf another confirmation they had in the universe. Um, and I heard it's going to make them, cause them to do something they never thought they would do. So at least i'm feeling for at least four of you guys in the universe you're about to have confirmations with snakes um some they're on the ground um some it's above you and it's about to fall and it'll be lowered uh, below you is what it sounds like here um but somehow it's about to be a confirmation for you for some it sounds like you've been dreaming about snakes or you've had some kind of it sounds like you've been dreaming about snakes or had some kind of dreamscape regarding snakes if that resonates and for some it's some other kind of confirmation of this snake either on the ground or on the above you that's about to come down that's about to give you a confirmation or it's going to cause you to do something you never thought you'd do so you plug it in how it resonates that's interesting that's very interesting um however that resonates i'm going to pull animal spirit actually no actually no actually i feel guided to pull one of these spirit message you have to like it braid so i feel for some your fem energies and wildflowers reversed i feel for some your fem energies because we have the braid card so i feel for some you you either well you're either a feminine energy or you have long hair 
or you wear your hair in braids. You don't have to be a femme, femme energy, but when I see this card, I automatically think femme energy. So you could be a femme energy or you could be a masculine and you're femme, or you could wear braids. You could be a dude that has like braids um, or have long hair because you see that's a long braid. Um, you only, you know your story, not anybody else. You have to plug it in how it resonates, but there's a reason we got the braid card. So I'm feeling you either have braids in your hair, um, masculine or feminine, or you could have cornrows. You could have cornrows or, um, or long hair, masculine or feminine, or a femme, or a masculine that takes on heavy femme. Um, maybe you're going to scream like a girl when you see the, uh, if you're a dude, maybe you're going to scream like a girl when you see the snake. Maybe that's why we got the braid card out, because this is fem energy all day long is what, um, how I take this in here. Let me see if I hear anything. It is about to scare the hell out of you for many reasons, and you know this. I heard it's about to scare the hell out of you for many reasons, um, and you know this. So you seeing this snake, whether it's on the ground or a large snake above you, your height level, whatever height you are, coming down, it sounds like, below you, um, hopefully not on you. I didn't hear it was going to come on you. I don't think it is. Good God, I hope not. Um, I heard it's going to scare the hell out of you. It's going to scare the hell out of you. So I don't think this is going to be in a zoo or a controlled area. I think this is going to be out in the wild or in your yard or in somebody else's yard or in a park or or some kind of public space that's not controlled like a zoo S type or um, terranium, terranium or aquarium type situation. Woo, we you plug in and how it resonates. I heard it's gonna scare the hell out scare the hell out of you for many reasons. So somebody's been con getting confirmations of snakes, either in your dreamscape or otherwise. And you're about to see it in 3D basically. Wildflowers reverse. For one, dead flowers are about to become a uh, confirmation. For one, dead flowers are about to become a confirmation. Oh, dear God. There's a lot of confirmations in here. So we've got snakes, living snakes about to become significant in confirmations on the ground. And large ones coming, sounds like, from above your height down. And dead flowers about to form confirmation. So dead flowers in some shape, form, or fashion. For, oh, Lord. Wherever you're about to see dead flowers. Um, I mean, I have dead flowers, but it's not because I wanted them to be dead. Because they died out by my mailbox. But um, I watered them and they still died. But my succulent's still there. But that's just me. I can only speak on me. What a, however dead flowers are about to become significant to you. Um, the, the, it sounds like the dead flowers are about to become confirmation for you. Um, maybe I think for some, it's about to cause you to do something you never thought you would do because it's about to be a confirmation for you in the universe. Everybody has different confirmations, but for some of you guys, snakes on the ground are about to become confirmation, large snakes lowering down from above your height down is about to become confirmation and dead flowers are about to become confirmation. Only you know your story, not anybody else. You plug it in how it resonates you guys. Let me see if I hear anything else. A dark arts, voodoo, hoodoo, altar is about to become a confirmation for one as well. Hidden altar about to be found. Oh, my God. Oh, so four confirmations in here. Snakes, one and two. Three is the dead flowers. Four is a hidden dark arts, uh, black, i.e. black magic, hoodoo voodoo altar, um, a hidden one. It's a hidden hoodoo voodoo dark arts altar, altar. It sounds like one of you guys is about to find or somebody you're connected to is about to find. And that's about to become a confirmation too. So there's four confirmations in here. 
Um, it sounds like upcoming in the universe, but it sounds like all four of these confirmations, you might resonate with one of these, you might resonate with two of these, you might resonate with two plus of these, or you might resonate with none of these. However that resonates, but however these uh, resonate in your life, if they do, I heard it's going to cause you to do something you never thought you would do. Um, whatever that is um, in your life, only you know what you never thought you would do. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. Wow, man. This is interesting. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. Okay, I didn't. I didn't. Okay, we're done. I love you guys. I hope this helps so much. And namaste.